Hey look, a really obvious edit that I made at a speech tournament. Welcome to part two. If the Phantom of the Opera doesn't get Pop Goes the Weasel out of his head, he's going to freak out. All around the opera house, the Phantom throws a tantrum. The song will die, he doesn't know why. Stop goes the Phantom. Bigfoot can't believe you called him Yeti just now. Wait, what did you say? The Yeti? No way. I know I'm going a little bit gray, though I'm told all the time I can still pass for 30. But Yeti's all white, except when he's dirty. And man, is he dirty. You might as well know, the Yeti is sweaty, despite all the snow. They call him abominable for a reason. That snowman's B.O. man in every season. Hey, sorry I shouted. You gave me a fright. You don't really think we're that similar, right? The Yeti doesn't appreciate being called Bigfoot. Did you just say Bigfoot? What's wrong with your eyes? My feet aren't remotely as big as that guy's, nor are they as smelly. You see, here's the truth. Some folks call him Sasquatch. His real name is Ruth. So why then is Bigfoot the name people mention? The smell, not the size, is what gets their attention. His nose is big too, but does anyone care? Perhaps if it smelled, they would be more aware. Well, of course his nose smells, but you know what I've meant. You can bet he's no Yeti by way of his scent. The Phantom of the Opera is considering giving up music and doing his haunting somewhere else. There was a phantom had a song, and bingo was its name, O B I N G O C I told you so, B I N G O by Jingo, what a lame, O. Oh. It bugged the phantom all night long, he never was the same, O. Oh. His cheeks don't show, if they did though, you'd see them glow flamingo pink with shame, O. Oh. At least the phantom knows it's wrong, it caused him to proclaim, O. Oh. I'll have no peace and so, I'll just go and haunt a bingo game, O. Oh. The creature from the Black Lagoon doesn't wait an hour before swimming. The creature from the Black Lagoon went back into the bog too soon. Too soon, his doting mother cried. You just ate lunch. Come back inside. That Black Lagoon is dark and damp. You're going to get a stomach cramp. Just think of all you had for lunch. A squid, three eels, Hawaiian punch, a bag of chips, a crab ganache, a peanut butter jellyfish. You have to wait an hour or more, she shouted from the kitchen door. Alas, the creature never heard. He hadn't listened to a word, and rushing to the water's bank, he dived into the dismal dank, then gurgled, got a cramp, and sank. Thank you. Those and other poems are from Adam Rex's book, Frankenstein Makes a Sandwich, Another Stories You Sure Like, because they're all about monsters, some are also about food, you like food, don't you feel all right then? And it, they are hilarious, so I'm putting a link up there, or down there, I guess, I don't know. Um... Also, you should subscribe to my personal channel, because I love doing shameless plugs. So now when I say I do poetry at competition, you know what I'm talking about. I hope you enjoyed it, because the Lord knows that I do. Week and a half after my haircut, starting to like a little bit more. In two weeks in my next video, I'm sure it'll be almost entirely back, so don't worry about it. And other than that, I think I've covered everything. Um, I'll finish Evan's challenge in my next video, because I ran out of time, and I think that's it. So... DFTBA, although you rarely do, so I'm not worried. Nerdfighters for the win. I'll see you later. Um. Uh. 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 God, now I have to start over.